I love painting, drawing. I'm a shower singer. I can play the xylophone. I have been voted the best dabber. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, actually, I am the best dancer on the team. You may hear otherwise, but I am 100% the best dancer. If I wasn't playing basketball, I would probably be a teacher. I would be working on opening my own fitness center and have everybody come and work out with me. <laughs> I would probably be a mentor or a motivational speaker back at home in my hometown of Wilson, North Carolina. I'd probably be a psychologist because that's where I got my degree in and I love psychology, I love the study of the mind. I got my master's uh, MBA, so I would do something with business. Um, my own shoe company. I think I would be doing something with kids as far as training them, uh, mentoring, things like that. I would probably be working at an advertising agency. Um, that's what I got my degree in. If I could do it all over again, I think I'd, I think I'd be an amazing football player. I'd be the probably Barry Sanders, Walter Payton, all them guys' records. So I, I, def I could play some football. I've been to 50 countries, and my favorite country is Spain, and I love shopping, so I love Milan, Italy. I've been to Canada, and then I went to South America. I was in Chile and Argentina. I'm about to go to Brazil at the end of next month. Oh, wow. I've been to uh, three countries so far. Uh, I've been to 65 different countries, and uh, my favorite place that I've been to was Egypt. I think it's because I was able to see the pyramids and the Sphinx and, uh, you know, just the environment. All of the things that I learned about in school, I was able to put into reality. It would probably be to go back in time, you know. Um, as much fun as I'm having doing what I do, um, I didn't get enough time to share this with my father. My superpower would be probably uh, to heal the world. To fly and to always be tan. Is that a superpower? If I can have any superpower, it would be to transport myself anywhere at any time. I just always wanted to fly. I mean, first of all, you get to places quicker, don't have to worry about paying gas, because that's a huge hassle. I would like to be able to teleport. Just get there like, like that. If I had a superpower, I think it would be to be invisible. To know what people's talking about, you know, uh, why you're not around. Basically, I just want to know people's business, honestly. <laughs> The best advice um, I ever received from somebody was uh, from my father, and he told me no matter what anybody tell you, um, you go and do whatever you think that you want to do. Always take care of your kids, take care of your mother, take care of your little brother. You know, if everybody happy around you, you should be happy also. A dear friend of mine once told me, don't be scared of your own success. Always have confidence. Some of the best advice that I got from my mom was to never give up on myself and always believe in God. I think it's probably from my mom, and you know, she just kind of told me that things are not always going to go your way. Pick yourself up, keep going. The greatest advice that I've ever received was probably from my father when he said, you can't teach height. You can teach dribbling, you can teach shooting, but you can't teach height. I've always been one of the shortest players on the team, and as long as you go out there and work hard and never give up, it doesn't matter how tall you are, you can always feel like you're seven feet tall, even if you're 5'8". When well, my mom said, uh... You know, the, when people staring at you, don't uh, don't let that fear you. When you got their attention, show them who you are. And she's been saying that since we was kids. I just always stepped outside and felt like I was, you know, seven foot tall. It probably had come from my dad. He always told me that no matter what you're doing, just remember somebody's always watching you. So always do the right things, whether you think somebody's watching you or not. Man, I started playing basketball at four. My mom, for Christmas, bought a basketball and a hoop, and I just gravitated to it. So ever since I was four years old, I've been dribbling that ball. What got me interested in basketball was my older brother who passed away uh, when I was seven years old. Um, he was the basketball player in our family, and when he passed away, it was like the, the, the aura was gone. So I felt like I had to pick it back up. I was at recess, and I just kind of stumbled upon a court, and I saw some guys playing, and for whatever reason, there was a lot of people watching, so I stayed and watched as well. And um, it looked like fun, so I convinced them to let me play the next game, and I absolutely fell in love with basketball. And I didn't put a basketball down for it. I felt like years. I started playing basketball from my father. He just put the ball in my hand, he had me watch great players on TV. I'm happy that my parents introduced me to the game of basketball because this right here brought me to a lot of places around the world and uh, it's really my girlfriend, so I have to treat her right. Mm -hmm.